Hello everyone, I'm Margaret. Uh, I'm a GD, MLGD from Seattle. Last year I helped launching the MLGD YouTube channel in collaboration with the other MLGDs. This year I'm recording a series of in interviews with MLGDs to help you get to know them better. And today is the very first interview and I'm chatting with MLGD Vikram from San Francisco. Hello Vikram, how are you doing today? Hey, hey, Margaret. It's been amazing. Uh, thank you so much for doing all this work. And I'm good, pretty good. It's, it's been good weather here. How about you? Uh, great. Yeah, it, it's great here too. Sunny every day. Um, <laughs> so uh, to get started, Vikram, can you tell us a bit about yourself? Yeah, sure. Uh, so hi, everybody. My name is Vikram. Uh, I'm co-founder for Omni Labs, where we help you automate the menial tasks in your day-to-day -day life. So for example, sales team use our product to automate their outreach processes where it takes care of all the manual things that a salesperson would have to do. And instead they can focus on actually selling by like talking to the clients or sending the proper emails. Uh, I'm also a Google developer expert for cloud and machine learning. Uh, I do speak on uh, topics regarding cloud and machine learning and startups from time to time. I also help startups uh, figure out the process they should be building and like help them with technical stuff. That's about it. I also have a dog and I do some public, uh, like other stuff as well, of course. Yeah, I think I've seen your picture. Really cute dog. <laughs> like, did you, nice, you like put the dog in the backpack when you go to work? Yeah, yeah. So I have yeah. a picture of like, I used to take him to work with me in my backpack and bike around the SF city. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Um, yeah. So great. Thank you, Vikram. Um, so, Vikram, we uh, actually got to know each other uh, a while ago from uh, yeah. uh, DevFest 2017, right? And yeah, at yeah. that time, I that's the first time I met you. I was the lead organizer of GDG Seattle, and you were a, a cloud GDE, and then you applied to speak and gave a yeah. talk on App Engine at our DevFest. It was very well attended. and. You know, we have hang out with each other at various conferences in 2019, TensorFlow Dev Summit. Um, we, you know, MLGDs got invited to attend the summit. And here's a photo of us hanging out with the Googlers. And, and then we even play ping pong at Google I.O. Uh, and then later <laughs> on that year at GDG Cloud Vancouver, we both gave talks and, at that conference and had a great time oh, ping pong again. And yeah. last time we collaborated uh, with each other was in 2020, where uh, this is the uh, DevFest West Coast. You know, all the GDGs in the uh, in the West Coast. We uh, both were organizers. We collaborated to organize uh, this DevFest West Coast, and we both were speakers at the event as well. Um, yeah. So. I'm very excited to be um, chatting with you today. And uh, in today's video, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Um, yeah. So Vikram, how did you become an MLGE? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, so I've always had like a love for the community and sharing what I learned. It started like when I was in my undergrad. So I used to teach uh, evening classes and like weekend workshops to other students. And over time, I started doing this as like in a more structured manner and also started working on open source stuff, writing blog posts, like some videos and stuff like that. Uh, as part of that, like folks from Google Cloud team recognized like my work and I got introduced to the GDE program for Google Cloud. Uh, and on cloud side, I, was, I started working with them. I started giving talks and like <laughs> all the deaf person and the stuff around that. And then on the cloud side, I was working with cloud AI team as well. And over time, I developed like deeper skills for doing machine learning on cloud and doing public speaking on those topics uh, as well. And that's how I became like a GDE for machine learning as well. And it's been an amazing journey because like I started from like cloud from serverless and database side of things. And now I do like the machine learning part as well. So it's just amazing. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, so basically as a GDE in the Google developer expert program, you could be uh, recognized for more than one area of expertise, right? You started yeah. as a cloud GDE, then you became an MLGD. Uh, very interesting. Yeah. I have a few more GDEs who are like, who do like either web or machine learning or cloud and machine learning or like cloud and web. So it's just like, you can do both or you can do multiple as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I know. I know some people, right? Like Android, and then perhaps machine learning as well. Yeah, great. Yeah. So, what do you like the most about being an MLGDE or being a GDE in general?、Mm. It's it's very tough to like point to one single thing because like I all love, I love all the different aspects of it. Like whether it's like talking to startups about the problems that they are working on, or to like jam with like product team from Google or like TensorFlow team on like new features that they are trying to work out or some user behavior that they are trying to understand better. But if I had to really pick one of those, I would say it's like meeting other GDEs. It's like all of these、right. folks are just amazing people. They are applying like the topics that they learn about onto like. Such diverse usage, and like it's very inspiring to like meet all those people, and like you feel very encouraged about the the topic, like in this case, like machine learning and like the future of machine learning.、Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 exactly. You know, and that's how we got to know each other, and you know, also like get to network and learn from each other, right?、Um, yeah, from projects and you know conferences, etc. So.、Uh, Do you have some of the projects that you're working currently working on that you'd like to share with us? Sure.、Uh, so one of the projects that I work on at, in our company is like is to understand the document structure of a web page. So you can look at it in different ways. You can think of it as、uh, like it's a large language model problem because it's like it's just a representation of the code, or you can think of it as like an image problem where web page is what you see. So, or, or you can or you can think of it as like a graph problem because、right. your actions have consequences, and if you are interacting with this element over here, it might change. It might cause like some other action to happen on a different side of the web page.、Um, or if you are actually trying to do some task on it, you can think of it as a reinforcement learning problem. So it's just like it's fun to、mm -hmm. think about all these different problem spaces and try to apply that to this one core、uh, project that it is. So it's just like yeah, <laughs> fun to try out different sub segments for different tasks. Yeah. Yeah, so very interesting. So, did, would you say you use、uh, like computer vision and NLP and reinforcement learning, right, to solve these problems working with web pages, right? Yeah. So I don't do a lot of machine learning research. Most of my work is in applied machine learning. So I、mm -hmm. get to, like most of the amazing stuff that other people do. I use that for solving our problems and.、Uh, Just like understanding which kind of or like reformulating problems in different ways helps me figure out、uh, whether、mm -hmm. this type of model will work in this use case or a different type of problem statements. And of course, there's like data preparation and cleaning up and retraining of models and stuff like that. But yeah, like we use、uh, all these different sorts of technologies to figure out what would work best for our use cases. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. You you are able to use these machine learning models to actually.、Uh, You know, put it into production and then in or on applications, right? That's great. Yeah, yeah.、Uh, is there anything else you'd like to share with us today? Sure. Yeah.、Um, so, like, I would say, like, come join us and become a GDE as well.、Uh, best way to do that is like to join a GDE chapter, attend the events. We are frequently speaking at those events, and these are great sources for you to meet, like the amazing folks that are in your community. Like I met、uh, Margaret through a GDT event.、Uh, we are also speaking, like Margaret is speaking at an event,、uh, Pacific Dev Fest that we are doing、uh, later this year. And like, come join us there, like in, it's in person. You can also join us on on the call as well. But yeah, come join these meetup groups. These are all over the world, and that those will be like perfect place for you to meet not only other MLGDs but your local communities. Yeah, that's great to hear.、Uh, that's that's a great、uh, advice,、uh, Vikram. Definitely, GDG is a great community to、uh, join, and I look forward to seeing you soon at the Pacific、yeah. Region Dev Fest. And、uh, yes, thank you so much、yes. for joining us today, Vikram. Of course, of course, love that. Nice. We'll see you there.